Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the fabs function in ClickView. It's pretty much the same as the ABS or abs function in Excel. So for demonstration purposes I've changed the profit expression here to, to show as negative and again I just multiplied it by minus one to show negative. So to show you how the fabs function works we're going to create go into properties, create a, a new expression. I'm going to say fabs column. The column we want to do uh, get the absolute number of is column one. Uh, if we just go in front of that and say num and then say comment format. So I have to create a variable for the format and so I'm just close parentheses. So Known fabs column one and then the format. We click OK and click OK again. Now see we have the positive version of the negative version that's over here. So again, it's fairly simple. Just put fabs in front of. We use column one to, uh, because this expression is is deemed as the first column in the chart. So what I'll do is uh, to show you how this works. If I go into profit um, rank. We're going to multiply that by minus one again just to demonstrate how it works. Click OK. You can see now the profit rank for all these countries are now negative. We can go into properties. We can copy this expression, paste, and instead of column one, we can change it to column two, which means it's going to pick up the profit rank. And it's also going to pick up the format, which is currency. So we're going to change that to count count so I'll just show you that norm fabs column two format count click OK and now if we scroll across we can see the positive very uh, sorry the positive number here versus the negative number over here by using the fabs function. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.